Never Stop Learning, week 207. We're going to take a quick look at the Place Multiple feature in Adobe Illustrator CC 2015. So this is a feature that was introduced once we made the switch over to the Creative Cloud, and it's a really useful feature. I've got a mock-up right here of a postcard, and it's made up of four different images. Every time I click on one, you can see over here in the control panel that it's actually a linked file and it even gives me the name of it and when I hover over it, it tells me the location of it. So it's the same story for all four of these images. Now I was able to bring these guys in really quickly using the place multiple feature. Before I show you how to use it in Illustrator today, let me switch back over to Illustrator CS6 so I can show you how we used to do it back in the day. All right, so over here I'm gonna go into the file menu, scroll down until I find place, now there's no keyboard shortcut assigned to it, but if we edit our preferences, we could actually assign one to this. I'm gonna click on place, and now I get the place dialog box, and these are the images that I wanna place into this document. So if I click and drag to select several of them, notice Illustrator is not allowing me to do that. All right, if I hold down the shift key and click on several of them, you see it's just not let me do it. Not even command, not even my shift and up, er up and down arrow keys. So basically what I'm trying to show you guys is Illustrator CS6 is not allowing me to select several images at one time. All right, so what we do is we just grab one, click on place, all right, and just placed it right there for you, right in the center of your document. Then we'd have to come back over here to file, place, select the new image, then place, and there it is. All right, so you can imagine it just goes click, 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 all right? so. Now they're speeding things up with this new feature. So I'm gonna switch back over to CC 2015. And here I am in a blank document. I just wanna show you guys how it works now, all right? So what you wanna do is you wanna go into the file menu, scroll down until you find place. Now check this out. There's a keyboard shortcut already assigned to it. It's uh, Control Shift P. All right, I'm gonna click on place and I get the same place dialog box that we saw earlier. But now I could actually click and drag and now I'm able to select four images at one time or however many images I need. All right, so a couple different ways to select these guys. This is just workflow stuff. I'm gonna click to deselect. All right, I'm gonna click on the top one to select the first image. All right, hold down the shift key and then click on the last one and that's gonna select the entire range for me. All right, I'm gonna click off all of them. Command A is gonna select them all for me as well. If I select the bottom one, and then hold down the command key I could skip one, and then that's just a way to be able to, you know, select several images, but maybe you don't want to select them all in one row. All right, so let me just select them all. Now, the other option I wanted to show you guys is down over here where it says link. By default, it's already turned on. Now, a linked image is going to have uh, a smaller document for you, uh, but you're always going to have to remember to bring along those images with you. All right, if I unlink these guys, that means it's actually gonna embed these images into my document, all right? So the downside is uh, my document's gonna be a lot larger, but the cool thing is I'm not gonna have to worry about bringing along the images because they're actually embedded directly into the document. All right, I'm gonna leave mine linked because this is usually how I work, especially now that we have the new uh, packaging feature in the Creative Cloud. Uh, for more info on that, uh, there's gonna be a link right there for that video. All right, so I'm gonna click on place. Now check this out, my cursor looks a lot different. For you InDesign users out there, this might look a little familiar to you. What it's showing me here is that this is the first image of four to come. And I even get a little preview right there of what that image looks like. All right, so with my mouse, if I were just to click once, check that out, it's just gonna bring it out at 100%. So every time I click, it's gonna lay out an image for me at 100%. I'm gonna undo that by hitting Command Z a couple times. Now notice it's loading them right back into my cursor for me, so that comes in handy. All right, you could also click and drag to kind of define what size and what location these images should be at. All right, if you click once, it's gonna bring this guy out at 100%. I'm just holding down the command key to bring up my selection tool temporarily. All right, and if you were to just click and drag, you're able to, um, you know, kind of resize your image and figure out what size you need it for your particular layout. And there you have it, folks. That's a quick look at the Place Multiple feature in Adobe Illustrator CC 2015.